Hi everybody, Renegade68 here with uh, some Digimon card game online. Going to be playing some Diaboromon. I'm doing this mostly because this simulator doesn't have a replay feature. And I'd like to be able to rewatch some of my matches. It's a fan-made simulator. Uh, ideally, we could get official one eventually, but for now, this is what we have. Uh, if you'd like to see my deck, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, if you have any questions about it, I mean, I don't know, maybe I could make like a deck profile. But for now, I'm just going to jump into it. If you want to look at it, there you go, you can pause it. Um, so far it's my only deck. I only recently started playing on this simulator. I've been playing Digimon in general for a while, but I only just started playing the simulator. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to play a few games. Going first. Uh, no, no rookie, this is a mole. Thank God for the mulligan, by the way. Back when I was playing regularly, uh, there was no mulligan. I've played off and on for a while, but most of my playtime was uh, back in the day, like around BT2 to BT6, ever since my play with the game has been light. Partially because I was waiting for a simulator like this, and now we have one, kind of. Uh, so we want a champion. We want to dig as far as possible. This good trash card should be good for errata, but I'd rather just dig as... Uh, do we want this? No, this is too early. We're not going to get a good, good, good guard draw. This is better. Oh, we got the errata. Um, in that case, we might just play the errata. The sooner the better. Uh, I do need a champion, though. We can play the errata next turn. Uh, mm, that's awkward. We have an ultimate, but that's three ultimates we're passing on. We do need a champion. We have plenty of rookies. Sucks to pass on the ultimates, but I think it's correct. Uh, actually, we'll change this order. We'll go one, two, three, four. Normally, I like to get my tamer in play as soon as possible, but in this case, it was a bit awkward because I had no champions, so it would make my play next turn potentially weird. Come to card your deck, add one green card among him. I'm not going to be reading all my opponent's stuff. I'm somewhat rusty. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm rusty. I, I've been still been doing pretty good. But more that I'm less knowledgeable about what my opponent's stuff does a lot of it. Because I haven't uh, played regularly for a while. Alliance. If you have another green... Okay. No inheritables. This is just a... Just cost by two. Okay, so nothing crazy. Um... I'd like to establish my tamer, and I can start building up a stack and raising next turn. Uh, I can just like, swing with these guys, there's no reason not to. If I get a tamer, I can just play my... If I get my memory, I still pass turn. Okay. If we could add one with the beast, beast among your hands. Is this a memory setter? No. When the effect suspends one of your Digimon by spinning this tamer... Okay. It's a cost reducer, but it's not a memory setter. What do you get to do? Just add a card, okay. So when the hand gives you a, when the deck gives you a hand like this, you just do some rookie rush. What did you add? Okay, Blast Digivolve. I know they have this now. Blast Digivolve is probably my least favorite mechanic, just because if you don't know what all the cards are, you're more likely to run into it and get your face blown out. Um. Make play when green or yellow, level 4, lower Digimon card from your hand with the, uh, playing the cost. Then until the end of your opponent's turn, one of their Digimon, minus 4,000 for each of your other Digimon. So that could be a lot. Alright, good to know. Oh, I'm going to attack again anyways. Can't blast Digivolve me yet. Okay, you got it twice. That's interesting. Both my weenies lived, so that's nice. Kind of. I honestly wanted one of them to die, because the whole point was I was going to turn on Arata so his memory gain would start for next turn. So it was a little bit of a failure, but it's still probably just correct to play out Arata anyways, because he's probably going to kill one. If he doesn't, then I get two free swings, so...
So he gets two Digivolution reductions. Is that the idea? Has to suspend one of his Digimon, though. And that causes the Digivolution, so you can't stack these. He's still searching. He needs his ultimate? Oh yeah, he kept it in raising. He's line locked. He, had, he didn't have an ultimate. Play one Gunner Yell level 3 Digimon card from your hand without paying the cost. By returning one of your other suspended Digimon to the hand, be straight from your hand without paying the cost. Okay. One of your other suspended Digimon. Delete one level four lower Digimon, then you play one level four lower green or purple Digimon. Change level four. Okay. He did not delete anything. He kept it in raising, so I get to attack again. He's got a bunch of memory potentially, but they're all Digivolutions, right? These are all Digivolution reducers, so you can't stack any of these. So he's still limited in what he can do. Oh, we just got this. That's good. We can delete one of his things then. Um, we still don't have a Mega, but we're probably in a good position to put this in play. Um, we could play this, trying to dig for a Mega, because we don't have one. Well, how are we passing turn? We should swing, ultimately. We should swing twice before we do anything else, because, well, if they both die... That's fine, because I can play this and then Digivolve into it. And that still chokes him. I mean, yeah, so there's no reason not to attack twice here, I would say. I guess we could theoretically Digivolve, but we don't need to. Okay, we finally died. And then we try attacking again, I think. Um... Hold on. Level 4 lower? Was that the idea? Well, it doesn't matter, because we're going to end up as level 4 lower. We'll just choke him. Is there any world where we do anything beyond just... I feel like hitting is correct here. Because we need to dig anyways. Okay. And then we need to dig, and then we'll digivolve. Okay, well, we get another Arata, and then we need a Mega. It sucks when they know we have it, but it's fine. Um, so, I think normally I like to Digivolve and just clear this here. It's basically free. Um, establishing the other Arata would be great, but I really want to kill this, so we're just going to evolve. Goodbye. I'm technically threatening lethal here, but he can probably clear my champion. Though I get a free Diaboribon token if he does, so I might still be threatening lethal. I might just win by Rookie Rush here. And you can't stack any of these things. Like, he can probably do two? I guess it depends though, he's at champion already. Digital to Ultimate usually takes three. He can probably get up to Mega, but he likely can't do it without passing turn, without some memory gain effects. Which I've not seen from him. Maybe when you're really spending Digimon. It's just spam, so it doesn't actually... I haven't seen a blocker either. Oh, right! I, like, honestly, I wasn't even paying much attention, but he did have that, so he's not threatened lethal anymore. That's really good, actually. Whoa, okay, nice synergy. Nice, 18,000. Oh, okay. What did he just do? Oh, it doesn't say it's text. Oh, that's a mistake. 
when an effect suspends from your Digimon, draw one, and then Lions reduce the cost by two. Delete will know for Lord Digimon, then you may play one green or purple from your hand, lifting the cost. A lot of this is spamming and suspending, not much deletion. So he's gonna delete this. He's. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Why would you do that? Why did he delete his own Digimon? Am I missing something? Is he gonna replay it or something? Why can't he delete this? Why wouldn't he delete this? Because he doesn't want to give me the Diabormon token? It's definitely much better to give me the Diabormon token than give me the ultimate, though. Usually. Or give me the uh, ability to go into an ultimate would be better for me than giving me a Diabormon token. I have this, so I can warp into my Mega, potentially, but... Wait, what? How did he do that? I see. Wait, so he's going to a level 7? There's a lot going on. Cards I generally don't know. I didn't know this existed. What is this? No, it's... Okay. I see. So it's free. That's why he deleted it. He wanted another recovery. So he doesn't die. I understand. Delete one of your opponent's level 4 lords. Okay. So I think I still get to keep my Diabormon token, though, if I'm understanding correctly. <clears throat> he did get a lot of setup because of his cards from security. This has been really helpful for him. I think we're still in an okay position, but the recovery really helped him. This coming out of his security was great for him. Because he didn't have this naturally, it just came out of his security. That would have been nice in my hand. So is the turn over? If he gives me two memory, which he should, then I can still digivolve up, because um, if he's deleting this, then I can still digivolve up into this, and I think I can kill him. Maybe. I don't know, he's got a high play cost. Yes. Oh, let's think about this. I have three security. I might be in danger of losing this game. I might have played the previous turn wrong. I don't know. He just got all these out of his security, which really helped him. Like, my mons lived, which means I didn't get memory from Arata for a turn. Ah, uh, it's tough. Like, I can destroy my... And he has three security now. I won't be able to kill this, even if I de-digivolve it. I could kill this, but... I would not be able to do anything about this. Which is a problem. It's not going to digivolve anymore, I don't think. Hmm. This is tough. We have three security. I mean, we're going to kill one of them. I don't know what else we're going to do, though. There's no way we can swing. This is not a great hand. Um, hmm. Level 4. He only deletes level 4 lower. 
That's interesting. I might actually hold the ace. Is that weird? He's got three. I think establishing the blocker is correct. And this draws us a card. Oh, this would have been nice to have earlier. Um... I don't even know if this is correct. Like, we get to establish. He can't delete anything too high level. He's probably got some nonsense that'll let him do it, but naturally he can't, so it might still be correct. I wish I could establish the second errata, but I don't think we have time. I don't think we have time. Yeah, we just gotta do it. Draw one. Uh, hold on. Let me check the play area. Uh, is there any on deletion effects? No. And let me see. Is there a reason to ID digivolve you? I could potentially give you your one digivolving back. Well, no, because you get it anyways as one of attack when attacking. So it does make sense to digivolve you. Okay, so we will. Did you evolve this? All right. <clears throat> and he still has one of these in play, which is annoying. We aren't in a great position. Two turns for now will be doing better because we'll have a rookie with a champion loading ourselves up, but... And we'll have Kurosarimon too, which is great. He doesn't seem to be able to delete things level 4 lower very easily. He's also doing that, which means he's not doing two checks. Probably not going to get anything very good from security. We'd have to get really lucky because we've seen a couple of our Shade Mons and three of our Aradas, unfortunately. Wait, how is he digivolving? Oh. I mean, it doesn't matter again because it's the same thing where it's a when digivolving when attacking once per turn, so he could have just attacked anyways. The only argument would have been if I was going to leave it as an ultimate, not Digivolve to the Mega, and try to do finagle stuff on the opponent's turn, but I don't think that was realistic. I think this is just a case where the opponent getting two of these Shuchongs out of the security might be what's costing me the game. The fact that I haven't seen any of my um, Armageddon also is really bad. Might have just been a bad rollout. I also didn't see any of my really good champions for a while. I was forced to give off a shame on. Yeah. It still only deletes all four lowers though, right? So it has security attack plus one though. Which is unfortunate. Also the fact that he got this for free from his security. Because these are like play from trash effects, right? Oh no, it is from hand as well. Okay. The fact that we only have one errata established is kind of shitty at this point in the game. I'd really like to have two. Oh yeah. Um. Will I use delete one Digimon? Uh, two, four, six, nine. Um. Is there a reason that I can't use your other Digimon? Yes. 
I will. Let's just get that out of there. Ow. Because uh, sometimes you can play and get a Digivolve and a Leashion on the opponent's turn. We didn't get that, but it's okay. So at the moment, we do not pressure lethal, which is unfortunate. How much memory is he going to give me though? Does it matter? I can hard play my Diabormon if I need to. And then I can warp Digivolve that way. I might have to do that. Because it'll give us a um, couple extra. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, thirteen. I'd be able to delete this guy if I hard play. I mean, if I can, if I get that opportunity. The fact that this is an on play like has never really come up for me, but I think it might be about to come up because. He probably is not going to give me enough memory to play a champion without passing turn, I'd imagine. So most likely, I'm going to have to hard play him. It seems like we'll probably get to keep the Aboramon tokens, though. I hope that is the case. If we can get two Diabormons and stick them both, and if we have, specifically, if we have this one, who means we'll have stuff... That would be... We'll have blockers. I mean, they'll be blockers. That might be good enough. He's still got a Digimon in the back row already. Interesting. He's hard playing. Just spend one Digimon. That's not going to do anything. Or wait, it is? Is it? What does this do? Does that do something? I see. He's giving me a lot of memory, more than I was expecting. But he's maybe doing this to try and do... He's trying to kill Diabormon, maybe? Can he? Does he have an effect that kills Diabormon? Not with this. He's just trying to spam as much as possible, I think. Okay, and he gets a recovery. That makes sense. Are you doing another one? Okay. I'm getting a lot of memory, though. Oh, and he's even giving me a blast to work with. If I did evolve that, I get some memory. Oh, but he's... I think he's about to kill Ace. Is that right? Yeah, this is going to kill my ace, so all the memory I was going to get, I'm not getting. That sucks. I believe I get something from that, though, right? I get a memory. Oh, I don't even get a token? That sucks. I think this is a lost game. That doesn't do anything, because they're... Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, hold on. That might change things. What? For each of your other Digimon. Oh, never mind. I was wrong completely about how that worked. Okay. So, how many can we delete with this? Three. This is cheap, so seven, twelve, and fifteen. I can delete three, and then I can get my memory back. So I'll have plus one memory. Right, because I play it for three. This gives me four, which means I'm going to end up with five memory. But I don't have the Diaboramon tokens anymore that I was supposed to have. 
Um, I have. I'll be able to attack into it, though, right? Is there any reason that I can't just kill this by attacking it? I think I can just attack it. So that's seven, twelve, fifteen. I can kill with my Diaboramon, and then I can attack into this with with uh, this guy, and he's going to have his ten thousand. Which I'll, I'll live the turn. Can I do anything about his ten thousand? No, but I might just warp into it. Hmm. I could also hard play this, just to give me some more value on my next turn. Alright, so we're going to digivolve into this. I don't know exactly what all we're doing is yet. Um, but I think, I think I've got a gist. We're going to go up to 5 memory. What do we do with 5 memory? Uh, we could try to choke him by double playing Aratas. That's probably wrong. But maybe not. We can, um... We can play one of these. We can, uh, play this guy. And, again, do the warp digivolve. Hmm. Huh. We always do this. Let's just do this now. Yeah, let's just do it now. Okay, one, two, um, three, four. I always try to order these. Uh, that's bad order, actually. Three, four, uh, the four, um, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, no more ultimates, I guess. Nine, ten. Uh, 11, 12, and I don't need a second one of him, so 13. So we get this, this, and this. All right. Uh, I don't believe he has any bat blast digivolves. This has a bunch of annoying effects that I don't want to deal with at all. Um, so I'm going to kill that, but what else do I do? <clears throat> um, do I digivolve up into this, or do I play things in the play area to survive the turn? I can choke him at one memory. I kill him for sure. He's got two dudes to deal with. I should ideally get some more blockers than that if he's got two dudes. True. Is there a cheaper way to do this, though? You can go five, and then three, and then that chokes him. So that's not bad. Okay, we always kill this. Then five, and we go three. Can we not pass turn somehow? No, but we give him one memory. It would have been nice if I could have give, played this as well. I could do that and go to two. But that puts him at five. I really don't want to give him a lot of memory. Um, I think attacking with this is wrong. I want to keep it as... No, because I want to delete it. Well, for hard playing, we aren't hard playing. We should play this because it'll give us a token if he clears our guy. Is that right? I think it is. Because if we play this... Yeah. So we'll play this. Okay, this is going to be the play. Then we play this. Uh, no, that's play cost. Then... Yeah, this has to be correct. I think this is correct. Because this gives us three blockers. It's probably correct.
We are threatening lethal again. I'm not too worried about that though. <clears throat> we can play this a more control A style if we need to. What did we leave in trash? We left a rookie. Okay. So we have three blockers. We have to we have enough to digivolve super quickly if we need to. <clears throat> this is a long game. I'm not used to games going this long. To toot my own horn, I think it's because I got some bad luck and otherwise I would have been in a dominating position. Grumble grumble, but uh Top taking this at the perfect time was nice, but not seeing it earlier, you know, would have also been nice. So he's got eight cards in deck. A deck out is possible. One nice thing about the new Armageddon deck mon is that if you're playing Diabora mon, you pretty much just don't deck out ever now. You don't have to worry about running out of Tamas either. Okay, so he's going to Digivolve this, right? Because otherwise I would block it and kill it. He also does not get an extra attack now, which is nice. We have three blockers and a security. We should be fine pretty much no matter what he does here. Obviously I won't block unless some um, stuff. Hello? No. That's it? I guess he does live. You may suspend one Digimon. Oh, that's pretty good. What's he going to suspend, though? Because I have three blockers. And if he's got 18,000, I'm not going to block him with Armageddon anyways. I probably don't block. <clears throat> it doesn't really do anything. Oh, yeah. Uh, for sure. He might, have not have he might not have remembered about this. When you play a Digimon by an effect, I get a thing. And then I get a D-Digivolve. Um, so, sure. Now I will block if you don't do anything else. I don't know if the opponent accounted for that or not. They might have. <clears throat> but it means they're not going up to Mega. Oh, right, I can't block with my 15,000. Doi. They just suspended it. Still, I just got another blocker on board. Which is great. This is an intense game. First game I'm recording. This intense. This usually isn't. Games usually are not quite this intense. The point also, I only have six cards in deck. I have not, since replaying this game, since playing on the simulator, I've not run into a deck out scenario. But. How much they're drawing? Level 3 gear, y'all. Thing cost. Okay, I still have three blockers. And memory is now on my side. Okay. What do you have up your sleeve? Is it just this? Another blast did you want for me to chew through? It still only targets one Digimon. All the Digimon have summoning sickness. Is there any unsuspends? I have not seen the unsuspend, so I don't think they can unsuspend. Even if they can, like, delete my 11,000. Which will give me a token. Which means I would be threatening lethal again. I'm still threatening lethal. They're gonna have four other Digimon. A Digimon with Rush would have been a problem. Oh, really? Oh! 
I won. I guess they gave up. Um, oh, they might have misclicked. They might have meant to target the Diabormon and they didn't. Potentially. Because um, they should have been able to kill Diabormon there. But... Interesting they conceded. Maybe because they know that their security wouldn't have been able to save them. But okay, that was a long game. Um, yeah, I think I want to play a few more. Normally I like to play three or five. That was long, so maybe only three this time. But uh, yeah, let's go again. That was that was that was stalling. Um, the the Armageddon came in clutch. The opponent was low on cards in deck, so they had a lot of security. But I actually had enough attacks that I could chew through all those security anyways. Um, oh, matchmaking never takes this long. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll cut to the next game. Okay, that was a couple of uh, matchmaking fails, but it worked out. <clears throat> Okay, new game, who dis? We got a rookie champion ultimate mega. We're going second even for sure. We'll keep. No Arados to start, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. The fact that I was playing a rookie rush style in the start because of the, the hand I was given, and my opponent got a bunch of free tamers from security, and the fact that I still won, I guess shows the power of Armageddon. Or maybe the fact that their deck wasn't the best at dealing with high level Digimon. Okay. Haven't seen this card in a while. Interesting. Pulsemon deck. I've seen these cards around. I've seen this card around. Trash. Hold on, this has a trash effect. Oh, you got so lucky. That was random, wasn't it? When one of your level 6 Digimon with Pulsemon in its text is played, two of your Digimon meet Digimon with Digimon Digimon in this card. Okay. So he still has to have another level 6 on play to do it. When he puts it in, he gets minus 16,000. You may select a 3 more. Set the memory of 3 in your opponent's side. If team requires an decision, you can gain one memory and recover. Okay. He does a lot, is the point. Um, he's down to security, though, so that's nice. Alright, what do these guys do? When Effect plays the team, this decision is going to cards, gain a memory. Um, okay. And then if you have 3 security, gain 2 memory. And then what about you? Add one if this is a pulse one. Okay, so what are we doing? What is this hand? Uh, I want to kill this. I can't. Not No. I mean, I could if I hard played. Is it worth it to hard play? I don't know if it's worth it to hard play with this hand. What else are we doing, though, right? Um, we could hard play our Karamon so that if he does something awkward, I can digivolve into this from hand. Do we want to play this? Oh, man. Uh, this is an awkward turn. Because digivolving into this doesn't really make sense. Hard playing this is okay, but they might not even go into a level 5. And even if they do, this isn't the best answer. I think we actually want to play this and get a search. I want to fill my hand out a bit. He has two rookies, so I want to keep this as an option to do stuff. I, I am going to play this out. Okay, what do we got? Um, we don't need this. This is repetitive. I think I'll take Cruise Arm. <clears throat> so now we have the ability to potentially delete his level threes if they stick around. That's annoying. I gotta remember that they have a card like this. When your opponent's using mine through, uh, I don't know if I'd play that way if I if I knew they had this. If you have three or fewer suspend when your opponent's digital mine. Okay, we killed them. And they played another one. Well, we'll kill this one this time because we have a champion that can kill it. We have a rookie for Digivolving next turn. Uh, 
Uh, we definitely are gonna go out. Do we choke him is the question? When your security stack is trashed from? If Leon Exalander, it's not. Okay, if you have three more security, when you're, okay. Uh, well, let's just use Pulse Mon. If you have three security cards, gain two memory. So I don't want to attack because I don't want to give them three security because they like having three security. Um, do I give him two memory or one memory? I void my inherited effect if I give him... I think it's probably better to give him two memory, keep the inherited effect. That also gives me a card draw. I think that's probably correct. Yellow usually has to kill by through DP deletion, which is still deletion, so I should get my inherited effects. Seems correct. We have two rookies, technically. He didn't go into an ultimate, though, so he might not have an ultimate. So this would be a wrong play. I am lacking an ultimate, but I have something to search if I need it. Oh, let's just do this, yeah. And then we will go into this. And hopefully he can't kill me. And we got another ultimate too, cool. That's great. That means we can build up to a stack next turn if we need to, if he clears me. He didn't play an ultimate last turn, so he might have been trying to not get it killed, but I wouldn't have had a good way to kill it. Effect, place a Tamer card. Placing one Leon from your hand is just If you have three or more security, gain one memory. If you have two or fewer, recovery plus one, okay. The Pulse Mod deck is interesting. They love having exactly three security. Um, yeah, I'm not... I uh, haven't really faced it much before, but it's interesting to think about. Oh, what is this? Trash on security? We have to join this text. You may ignore this card's color requirements. Oh, no. I get to play my tokens, right? Apparently, I do. I'm going to have to read that. I've not seen that option before in my life. I can also warp if I want to. Ooh, and now I could actually kill them if I warp. Uh, I'll think about it. What does this do? Wave of Digimon Machine with Pulse Mon. You may ignore this card. Okay. When this card would be used by trashing cards from the top of your security stack up to having three left, use cost by two. I see. The even is level five or lower Digimon. Then if you have two or three security cards, place this card at the bottom of your security. Okay, thank God he didn't. And from security, it's minus 15,000. All right. Um, what do we Digivolve into? We have everything. Well, no, we don't have a Tamer, but I think digging for it at this point is a mistake. Is it? We probably just Digivolve up in breeding, right? Right, we're not in a rush. We don't need to kill this thing right now. We can probably just swing twice into security. Um, I might plop this thing out, but now that I know that he has this, I probably won't. Or, eh, these kind of effects, because he could do that next turn. Alright, I think I will Digivolve here. Um, I think that's correct. We have no erratas. We do have this. Hmm. Maybe we do just hard play this. It puts him to four memory, but it deletes his guy. Hmm. I think I'll attack twice and see what we got. Top three cards of your deck. Add one card with... Hold on. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Pulse Mon in your hand. Return the rest of the... Place this card in the battle area. By placing the top card of one of your level four hydration with Pulse Mon's text in the top of your security stack, gain two memory. Wait, what? 
So it's a recovery and gain two memory? What a load of garbage. Well, anyways, we're attacking twice at this point. I mean, now we just go... I kind of just want to go wide. Hmm. Now that he has one security, I still have three mons... I wasn't planning to go wide, but I think I will. Ooh, the blocker is interesting. And then I think I will play this. He gets to gain two memory. It's still probably correct. I could Digivolve up in the security now. No, I think this is better. Ah, uh, it gets us our errata finally. And then we don't need the draw at this point. If he clears both our Diabormon tokens, we can't Digivolve all the way up into Mega, but we can always, again, hard play him if we... Well, no, I guess it wouldn't work that way. Hmm, we don't have an Arata in play either. What did he do? Oh, Mind Link. Right, I'm not used to this. Barrier. I have... I forget how Barrier works. I'll have to look that up at some point. Wait, do you say how Barrier works? No, you don't. Well, if Barrier screws me, I can look up how it works after this. I know there's like Evade, when it's deleted, you can suspend it. I forget what Barrier does. I think it's you can trash the security. Wait, how did he gain two? Wasn't he at one security? Why is he back at three? What did I miss? Ah, I see. Start of, that's start of your main phase. Ah, uh, that's my bad. I didn't realize it was start of your main phase. Is he going to delete both of my Diaboromons? He might. I hope he doesn't. If he does, I can probably use Armageddon to clean up. Still got three memory to work with. If you have two or less memory, set it to three. When the Digimon would leave the battle by when this Digimon by trashing the top pair of security stack prevent from leaving. Okay. When effect trashes from your security stack, this Digimon and its evolution cards may dissolve. That sounds awful. Uh, how screwed am I by that? Is this a good thing for him or a bad thing for him that he's forced to do this now? He's gonna get his end of attack trigger. Oh, what the fuck is this thing? Suspend when your points is one. Please, and then all your points is one again. All of you gain security check. Okay, so I can't attack security. If you have three more security cards, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6,000. If you have three or fewer, recovery plus one, then you may attack an opponent's Digimon. Ow. Wait, why did he do that again? Okay. So he's clearing. He's only got one security left, so he's going to kill my Diaboromon, I guess. How much memory is he going to give me when he passes this turn? He's at zero, so I assume I get enough? Maybe? Three? No? Unfortunate. 
Sad days. Isn't affected by Digivolve. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, you don't have three more security, though. Right? What did he get? So he's got Blocker and Reboot. Huh? Oh, right. So I only have two, so I get screwed. <clears throat> Alright, what does this thing's play cost? Twelve. What about you? Four? Oh, darn. Blocker and reboot. So I can kill it. Um... I'm thinking about what the best thing to do here is. I can play this for five. <clears throat> do I keep this in raising, though, for next turn? I could crash into this, actually. Oh, actually, no, wait. You have blocker? Never mind. Um... So I can't warp. I think Armageddon's a play here. I think we just end breeding and do stuff. We can't crash. We could move this up and just leave it there, which I don't love. But if he's deleted, I get a Idea Bormon token, so I'll do it. He's got a blocker, so I can't attack. Um, yeah, I think the best thing to do here... I'd love to establish this, but I can't, so we're just going to play this. It puts him at three memory, which he's got a start of turn... Two or less set to three anyways, so. Uh, just all of them. Okay, let's think about order a little bit. Uh, one. Oh! Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Wait, what? Seven. Eight. How's that? Eight. Whatever. Nine. Uh, ten. Eleven. And it's only eleven. Okay. Get out of here. He's got three memory and a champion, but it's a black champion? I don't know if he can digivolve on black champions. So I might be okay. Both these games have been a bit unlucky with um, establishing Naradas, but... It's been okay. I think you can make things work even without Narada. Ideally, you get one established as quickly as possible, but... Sometimes you have to play play at the pace of your opponent, because sometimes your opponent establishes their stuff, you get a chance to establish your stuff. I think Arata is better than a lot of uh, establishing guys, but... He got this for free from his security, right? So that's why I didn't get a chance. If I play in again, okay, he gets a memory from that. I get to Digivolve into a rookie next turn. Um, I 
I probably just build up in raising again. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Draw two and trash one card. Yeah, three, three fewer. Pulse one's text is in it. Let's be trash. The next end of your opponent's turn, delete it. Okay. So at my opponent, at my end of turn, whatever he's playing here is going to be deleted. 6,000 or less. If this digit one is pulse mine, it's text, but trust enough cover and spend this digit one. Okay. So this just gets deleted for free, so I don't have to worry about this. That's what I've learned. Did it say that here? No. Okay. Barrier, I believe, is when it's deleted, trash a security so it's not deleted or something like that. <clears throat> oh, that's a heavy digivolution. Can you kill me with this? What's for sure? If you have three more security, you don't. How did you kill me? I'm sorry. What? How did that happen? If you have three or more, one of your opponents, if you have three or fewer, delete one of their. Oh. This is going to leave there by an opponent's effect. If you have three or more, it doesn't. On deletion recovery plus one until there are three cards. Oh my god. What? That's so annoying. And you have blocker? Do you natively have blocker? Why do you have blocker? Oh, because he kept him in the... He did not choose to play him out, which means I can actually memory choke him. I don't know if I want to, but I can. So he gets blocker. He gave me enough memory to actually go up. Hold on. I can de-digivolve you, though, right? Which means I can bypass the undulation effect. And the all turns effect. So I should be able to de digivolve this and kill this. This is going to die for free. Hold on. Do we have a rookie? We do. We have two of the same rookie. So let's get our rookie digivolved here. Um. What is your play cost? Seven. That's fine. All right, so let me think about this. Can I play Arata? No. Of course not. Can I Digivolve into Diaboramon without passing turn? Yes. Because, um... Yeah, I play him. I go to one. And then I Digivolve again. I go to two. No, wait. I'm going to end up choking him at 1, right? Because I only play 1 Diaboramon. I play the Ace still, though, right? Because I want to kill this thing desperately. Yeah, that's probably correct. So I got to play Ace here. And there's no other ultimate in my hand. All right. And just to be sure, this is play cost 7, that means I can delete it, yeah, because it'll be 7 play cost is what I need. Um, this is the best play to make, yeah. Memory plus 1. D did you evolve one? Get out of here. Uh, I guess we're about to see if Barrier will kill him or not.
It did kill him. So what does barrier do? I thought it was when it would be deleted, you can trash the security to not be deleted. I'm gonna have to look up what barrier does. I don't remember legitimately. Oh, they surrender! Huzzah! Another hard-fought victory. <laughs> oh, these have been some tight games, but okay. Uh, yeah. Um, hold on. I, I'm gonna actually look up what barrier does real quick off screen, and then I'm gonna play probably one more game. Uh, three games. These have been these have been chonkers. So I think one more game will be, will be plenty. Okay, I looked up what barrier does, um, and I was basically right. But it has to be deleted in battle to use the effect to trash the security to protect itself. So. It's not as good as Evade, that's for sure. We have a Rookie Champion Ultimate Mega, we'll keep. Uh, it's not ideal, but we'll do it. Arata early is generally what's ideal, but you know. It's been working out so far not having Arata. Playing at my opponent's pace, right? <clears throat> Digivolve. Okay, we have two ultimates. We just have to digivolve here. We especially need card draw. So... This hand is not great. We get to digivolve again next turn, but the problem is... <clears throat> if we don't get any rookies after that, we could be in trouble. Okay, they have red. Red is an important color to remember, because they have this really powerful option that's like... Reduce your opponent's DP, like delete all your opponent's 6,000 or lower DP Digimon, which can smoke my tokens, and then I can't play by effects? Oh, it's hybrid. They could still be playing that red option, though. It's really strong. All right, do we move out? Um, We're probably safe, right? These guys have 7,000. They don't get killed by the option. The opponent has a Digimon. Oh, okay. If I don't move out, I actually choke him. And we're, it's not like we're attacking, and we don't have... Okay, we'll end breeding, then. I normally like to move out, but we don't have a rookie for next turn anyways, and um, there's no way I attack this turn. Uh, I like options. I think these are both good. I want to keep them both as an option, so I'm just going to digivolve into this. So this way I have a mega for next turn. He's choked. Still no rookie. This is a powerful, annoying card, because he gets to keep, like, bringing them out and hatching them over and over and over. Interesting, he's going for the check. I'm used to my opponents, like, wanting to hold onto those. Okay, how much memory are you going to give me? I get a full three? Oh boy! I don't know what to do with it. This is not a great hand. Depends on what I draw, I guess. Of course, now I get a rookie. Um, I mean, we can move out and kill this. So, we probably will? Did you want the Tamer? It's evolution cards is deleted. You might play one Tamer from your trash without playing its memory cost. Uh, what the fuck do these guys do? Start your main. If this Digimon gets plus 2,000, if it's got 10,000, it gets piercing. What do you do? You have two main relies. Okay. Noted. This is awkward because I don't really want to give him anything. Um, we can get some draws this way. All right. This isn't great, but I do need draws pretty desperately here. So. We'll do it. Okay, sure. Uh, we need some draws. Uh, we'll go ahead and delete a Digimon. Now, okay. We could play this, because that gives us a play for if the opponent does stuff. I kind of want another draw. Like, I'd love to get Narada in rotation. 
If I attack security, there are risks, but I get a free token, I get another draw. I'm going to take the risk. This obviously will be terrible if he gets something good here, but... What does that do? He gets another memory from this. So that's not great. It would have been better if it was a weenie Digimon. But it's okay. Um, and then we'll play this because it gives us a countermeasure if he goes up into an ultimate. We have rookies for over here. We could play this to really fish for an errata, but I don't think it's necessary. I think this is the better play. We don't have a Mega, unfortunately, but we can play this to do a D-Digivolve 1 if they go into a level 5. bunch of tamers. We got one of these tamers for free. My opponents have always been getting a bunch of tamers for free, haven't they? From their security stacks, and I haven't. I've not been getting my erratas. To be fair, this deck is probably playing more tamers than I'm playing. The going up to five is annoying. I gave them an extra memory by attacking, but I got an extra token out of it. So, was it worth it? It was worth it if they don't have the option that board wipes me. There's like a, you know, there's a red option. It's really good. And it, it basically becomes free if your opponent is swarming the board, and then it deletes all their shit, and then they can't play stuff by effects. It's very problematic for this deck. Oh, they're digi-crossing. They are hard playing. Why? Oh, okay. That's why. Oh, but uh, I, the turn will actually be mine still because of the memory. Turn one tamer card. I'm sorry, what? Uh, gain a memory. And play, yes. Um, on deletion. Uh, I gotta, yes, use. Um, I don't know if he has some way to attack with this. Uh, I want to keep this because it's better for juice plays, so we'll go into this. Arata is nice to have, finally. Uh, this doesn't matter. Oh, actually it does matter. Interesting. He digi-crossed. Um, and then I guess we will select this card. I don't think it matters, but... What do we even do here? We have four swings. It's got nine... We don't have a Mega. We need to draw a Mega really badly. I mean, we don't need it really badly. We're winning. But if we don't get one, we're just going to have to do Super Swarm. Which, you know, maybe that's all we do. Yeah, I'm not seeing a Mega, so I feel like we just have to get really swarmy. The problem is, they have three attacks potentially coming up our way. I really don't love that. Um, I really, really don't love that. So, what is the best thing we can do here? I don't know. Do we swing a whole bunch? Uh, we can put them down to zero security. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I don't want to give them too much memory. But we don't have any blockers here regardless. So, we're just gonna... Hmm... Yeah, we're going to swing a million times. Great. This is injection point security gain to memory. Okay. Hmm. 
We got some lives here. That's nice. Uh, and then I think we attack with this because we do not have a mega. There is no mega. We're not we're not playing with megas. So I think we still attack with this. And now there's no point to try to choke. But we can go wide, I guess. Okay. If we give him a bunch of memory, he's got three swings. He could potentially get two more swings. So maybe a blocker is not a bad idea. Because even if we warp into this, it doesn't do much for us. And putting six back in the deck puts us at ten. That's way too much memory to give him. Then again, he's at zero security. And I'll have a blocker if I play this. I'll have four five cards it might actually be correct all right this is a little wild but i'm gonna do it um yeah okay uh one two i want to keep one card in here <clears throat> three four five um oh yeah that's what i want to keep then no Put them all back. No, don't put them all back. Put one card. Yep. Mm, yeah. It doesn't matter because he's going to have a start of main phase effect. <clears throat> he was going to go up to at least five memory anyways. And if I wanted to play a blocker... He was going to go up to like seven. So this is like three more to get a better blocker. Oh, uh, I mean, no. Maybe I should have blocked that. I don't know. Maybe I should have blocked that, I don't know. It's debatable if blocking that was correct, because on the one hand, maybe you want to play as soon as possible so that you can't risk them deleting it somehow. But I also, there's a there's an option that uh, potentially from my security, I could get a Shade Mon. So, I don't know. Maybe you block that, maybe blocking that was correct. Got five memory left. Digital and digital card with hybrid trait in the hand with digital is cost for just by one. Oh god. That's not gonna do anything. Do I block this? Uh, security attack plus one, pierce. Has just one security attack. I still have two memory left. I don't think I block this. Okay. Uh, I don't think I blocked that. I think not blocking that, letting the two checks through, he still has very few memory, I think would have been correct. It's it's debatable. Like, when do you block with your big dude? I think not blocking is correct because he would have gained memory. Uh, but okay. So, three games, three wins. None of them were <clears throat> ideal in my loadout, but I made it work. Um, obviously, the best scenario is when I get erratas early. And in that, the, like, pretty much all those games, I didn't. And I was facing, like, aggro opponents. But I won them all anyways because, you know, you play a low curve, you play a low to ground, you're able to deal with your opponent's stuff, works out. Uh, okay.